in the Fitzpatrick Castlehood Pearl and heading towards the first flight, Angareb Ruba Bay. Ruba Bay, just the leader from Straldi and in third place, Angareb as they come to the first of the eight flights. Graham Bradley making it on Ruba Bay. Straldi, a close second, a gap then of uh, three lengths or so to Angareb on the inside of Manhattan Castle and the favorite Heist brings up the rear. Over the first, Straldi on the near side of Ruva Bay. Little to choose between them, and they're three lengths clear of Angareb. Manhattan Castle runs four, two lengths in front of Heist as they go past the winning post towards the second flight of Hurls. Ruva Bay from Straldi. Angareb on the inside. In fourth place, Manhattan Castle. They're about three lengths in front of Heist. Going quite a good gallop. The small field as they go to the second. Ruva Bay on the inside of Straldi in the noseband and a gap of uh, five lengths to Angareb on the rails alongside in the green and uh, blue colours. We have Manhattan Castle and tucked in behind them heist as they go up towards the mile and a half point now on towards flight number three. Ruba Bay in the colours of uh, Davy Brennan on the inside of Straldi. They're tracked by Angareb on the inside of Manhattan Castle and heist. About to start the turn now towards the far side of the track as they go on the approach to flight number four. Straldi nearest to us, Ruba Bay the rails. A four length break then to Angareb and third. Manhattan Castle on his outside and Heist still left the five runners as they swing down the far side of the track. Ruba Bay, Graham Bradley on the inside with a narrow advantage over Straldi. Then a gap of uh, five lengths to Angareb and Heist has moved up alongside Manhattan Castle as they come to flight number four. Ruba Bay with a narrow lead from Straldi in the nose and in second. Manhattan Castle towards the left of the picture, just being passed there by Heist and uh, Angreb, and Manhattan Castle now last with five as they pass halfway, heading towards flight number five. Ruba Bay on the inside of Straldi, followed in third place by Angareb, and behind Angareb in fourth is Heist, Manhattan Castle in rear. Four from home, Ruba Bay and Straley. Five lengths to Angareb, Heist a length away. Two lengths in front of Manhattan Castle as they go towards the third last now. And still Ruba Bay and Straley. Straley on the outside of Ruba Bay. Five lengths then to Angareb with Heist alongside and the four length break to Manhattan Castle as they jump to the third last. Straley the narrow leader there, followed in second by Ruba Bay. Four lengths to Angareb. Heist a length and a half back, and a three-length break then to Manhattan Castle as they start the turn off the back straight with uh, two hurls left to jump. And it's Straley on the outside of Ruba Bay. A five-length gap to Heist, who's gone up to uh, shade third place ahead of Angareb. But coming towards the second last now, it's uh, Straley the leader from Ruba Bay being uh, pushed along on the inside. And they're being chased by Heist in third, and behind the favourite in fourth is Angareb. Two from home now. Straley on the outside of Ruba Bay. Heist in behind them makes a mistake. Angareb four and Manhattan Castle flatten the hurl, but as they race around the home turn, it's Straldi who leads. Ruba Bay. Heist is uh, still making ground on the outside, but that's it. A mighty jump at the second last hasn't helped him as they come towards the final flight. Straley with Heist throwing down his challenge now on the near side. Ruba Bay beaten in third. Angareb struggling forward coming to the final flight. It's Straldi from Heist on the near side. And a gap then of four links to Ruba Bay. Angareb in four. At the last, Heist on the near side, Straldi on the far side, the jumper decided, and uh, both are awkward. Heist makes the worst mistake, Straldi's regained the initiative, and racing into the closing stages, it's Straldi from Heist on the near side, as they're racing into the closing stages, Straldi with Heist coming back at him on the near side, and Heist has regained the lead as he picks up towards the line. Heist wins it despite some sloppy jumping. Heist is the winner of the favourites home by about three parts of a length, Straldi is second, and they're clear of Ruba Bay, three anger left four, and Manhausen 280 pounds, and as they make the way towards the first, the great Desert Lord in the lead from Buckboard Bounce in second, and a gap of four lengths to Sarah Emma, who has been followed by the favourite Deep Heritage, then backdoor Johnny in the top weight, Karam Eisen, the back marker as they go down towards the second, the first of the ditches, Buckboard Bounce on the outside of Desert Lord. They run five lengths in front of uh, Sarah Emma, who's uh, two lengths ahead of uh, Deep Heritage. At the first with the ditches, Buckport Bounce, the far side, the Grey Desert Lord. Gap them to the next pair. Sarah Emma, Deep Heritage, Calamites, and back to Johnny in rear. As they turn off the back straight and head towards the third, Desert Lord to 
jumped half for fourth bounce at the second. That's the lead of a battle length. Adrian McGuire's mount in second place. The gap then to Sarah Emma. On the right of the picture, Deep Heritage, the Chaser Horse in the centre. On the left in the blue and white colours, Karen Myson. Over the third, Desert Lord for Buckboard Bounce. The gap to Sarah Emma, then Deep Heritage and Karen Myson. And out of shot at the back, backdoor Johnny as they swing into the spray, heading towards the fourth. Desert Lord, Charlie Swan from Buckboard Bounce, Adrian Noir, the Irish champion and the British champion elect. 1-2 from Sarah Emma in third, Deep Heritage in four. Backdoor Johnny on the right of the picture and uh, towards the left, the stand side, that's uh, Gary Myson who jumps it just ahead of Backdoor Johnny, in fact, as they come past the stands. Four fences behind them. Going up past the winning post now and Desert Lord. Under a 